good. Our audience have been so generous. And I know there are many people staying up all night. As long as me and Dave stay up, they're staying up. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching on the cameras and listening on the radio, and you wouldn't normally listen this time, may I introduce the legend that is Annie Nightingale. Hi, Annie. Hi, Chris. I don't know whose show this is. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here now for the start, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and have a shower. Yeah. Because above yeah. anything else, I've spent two hours with Kissy Sellout. I need a shower. You know? Why? Just Did because so the, the beats are so dirty. <laughs> And also have we've got dirty beats. We got dirty beats. Oh, I, know. Yeah. I know you've got dirty beats. Yeah. I know that. But yeah. if Chris goes off, I'm going to stay here, Annie. If that's all yeah. right, because I've had my shower. We have to do things in 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 a rotor system. So, so it's all about the money. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. If you want to give us money for comic relief, here's what you do: you get your phone, you text the word Chris to seven double zero double one. Now I know we've seen this a million times before, but if you haven't done it yet, maybe you've just got in. You put the telly on, you put the radio on. You're seeing us now. You're looking at Annie going. And he looks so cool. And he always looks cool. Do you do? You always look cool. Thank you, Ruth. I look like a fat man in a hoodie, and David looks like a builder. But Annie looks cool. <laughs> so here's what you do: get your phone, write my name, Chris, send it to this number seven double o double one. That's seven double o double one, and that will be one pound for comic relief. We're going to try and get as many as we can before we come off the air at 10.30 Friday morning. So, it'll cost a pound plus your standard network charge and the whole pound goes to current relief. You've got to be 16 or over, ask to build place permission, full terms and conditions. Go to bbc.co.uk slash radio one. So, if everybody watching and everybody listening text my name, Chris, to 70011, we'll make loads more money for comic relief and you'll be very, very generous and you will live a happy and fruitful life. Perfect. And Annie will play you some dirty beats. Done. Done. While you're in the shower. While I'm in the shower. Have a lovely shower. Chris, you really deserve it. I will. Well, the radio's on in there as well, so I yeah. can still get to hear the show while I'm showering. I get to shower with Annie Nightingale and Dave, which is something I haven't done for a long mm. time. Okay, then get a spray tan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From your spray tan lady. Write my name, Chris, in a text, and it's a 70011. It's five past two. Let's start. As we mean to continue for the next 12 hours with Miss Annie Nightingale. This is BBC Radio One's longest show ever. With Chris Moyles and Comedy Dave and Kissy Sellout for Comic Relief. Hour 43.
Lucy Gale. Hello, Dave. How are you doing? I'm right. very good, thank you. So what? this is Radio One's longest ever show, right? And it really is Radio yeah. One's longest ever show. We're now into hour forty-four. Right. I think. And how are you? How are you feeling? Come on, honestly. Honestly. What's how, it like? How do I look? First of all, you look great. You know, you do look I really? Fast. Yes, yeah. I've yeah. Uh, I've had a I've had a shower, which actually that's what Chris is doing just yeah. now. I must state for the record that we're allowed to take these breaks. So Chris has now gone on a break. He'll be back in an hour from now. Okay. Uh, so he's now doing that. We're doing like a sort of swapsy system. I'm now all the way through, hopefully. But I was fine until about five or six hours ago when my voice started to go. And then Sounds I Sounds very nice. Sounds quite sexy. Well, Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then all my geography went, Annie. And what do you mean? Like England or no. Scotland? I, Where's France? We're in the same studio where we always do the show. Yeah. And so I know the studio like the back of my hand. And for some reason, it was just, it was like being drunk. It was like being in a pub all day and just thinking, I don't really know where the bar is or where the door is or where the toilets are. And it's the most disorientating thing. But now I've had my shower, I'm all good and I'm back again. Right, I'm okay. All fine. Right, so, now well, I'm going to tell so, you what we've just, put, what we've just been playing. Yeah. Because uh, bang on the next tune, go on, because that's what I do normally. Um, so we've had Price Tag, the Benny Page mix with Jesse J. That one just now, Take It Back, the Prototypes mix, I love. I think yeah. they're just really, really doing wonderful things on that. It's actually a track by Chemist featuring Ed Shikari. Very good combination. Uh -huh. This one I think you you know very well. So can I say, um, can people text 81199 to help help keep Chris and Dave going all night? Tell us, I think you probably like some nice jokes as well to keep you going. Uh, yeah. I mean, you've had, you had very gorgeous young Lady Singer Katie came Perry, to see yes. Just now, that must be... What did that feel like when she walked in? It was fantastic. And actually, just the perfect person to give us a bit of a lift, yep. you know, in the wee small hours. Katy Perry coming in with all sorts of gifts was wonderful. That's what I thought. Hold tight. Hold tight and I'll hold on. What? Breakage featuring Jess Mills fighting for the FOMO mix. Do you like that, Dave? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's keeping us going in the early hours. Good, good, good. Well, obviously, I think the music I play is absolutely brilliant. Otherwise, I wouldn't play. <laughs> um, I've just been longing to know who's listening out there because my big thing is, like, text and the, uh, the, hearing what people have to say. So, Dave, do you want to hear about what people are saying? Yeah. That... We're trending number five worldwide. So I believe, which is just amazing. I mean, we're, we're not really aware of how big this has been because we've been in this studio in our own little box for 40-odd yeah. hours. A bubble. It's going to be really weird coming coming out of the bubble and there are probably lots of photographers outside when you finish. But anyway, let's sort of keep that going. I think it's just nice to know what the outside world is thinking of you and Absolutely. Chris. And uh, John... Says it's making him proud to be British. Oh, really? That's very odd thing to say. <laughs> this is keeping the home fires burning. Yeah, then. Um, you are heroes. That is, and he says, now Tracy and Luke says, oh, I've been listening since. I've been up since 6 30 a.m. on Wednesday. I've just been out for Paddy Day. Now, the thing is, I bet this is the first time that you and Chris have not had a proper drink on St. Patrick's Day. It's so, now gone. Certainly in a long time. Yeah, no, we've missed it. I mean, that's it. It's gone for this year. So, didn't I hear earlier on that you did, somebody brought you in some Guinness? I was thinking, Actually, what happened? Go on. Not, not strictly true, because what happened was, obviously, we were on with, uh, with Nick Grimshaw, and then at the end of Nick's show, he went down for last orders, and he found, well, he found, he found James Corden in the pub, as you do. Is that real? Yeah, oh, I well, thought that was all big setup. Well, it, no, kind sort of, real. of yeah. So anyway, so he goes down the pub, and he finds, uh, he finds James Corden, and he goes, oh, what do you want? So he, he brought us back, brought Chris back a pint of lager, and me a pint of Guinness. And so we did actually have a little toast to Paddy's day, but we had a couple of sips, and, and I just didn't think that it was a good idea to be drinking, having been awake for 40 well, hours. Well, goodness knows what it would do to you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I feel great for about 10 minutes and then <laughs> just you'd hit, crash. Hit the, yeah, completely. Crash. So, but what would you like to drink when all this is finished? Have you got a drink lined up at half past 10 in the no, morning? No, because I, again, I'm just a bit worried about that. I think really when this is all finished, whatever state we're going to be in, I think we just get in a cab and go straight home and go to bed and just not set an alarm. And we might sleep for two hours, four hours. 15 hours, I don't know. Right, let's any. predict how long you sleep for. What's the longest you've ever slept for? Probably about 13 hours, 14 have you? hours, yeah. What? Well, you've got the whole, have you got the whole weekend off? Uh, yeah, well, we're off on leave after this. We've yeah, got that's what I was going to say. Off. 
Oh, we've got... You can actually sleep I'll sleep for two weeks if I want to. Yeah. That's actually all, sorry, it's all planned. Yeah, very well, pretty I must much, say. Pretty much. So, um, Gareth in Belfast says, it's fantastic to be able to tune in and listen to you after I've finished my door shift. You're doing fantastic. Thank you, Gareth. I made the whole door team and the bar staff donate via text. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks to everybody. It's actually it's irresistible. The, the... It's really good fun when you do it as well, and the message comes back. Yeah, and you feel Straight like you're away. part of it. But honestly, the amount of money, and, and this is what's really spurred us on, the amount of money, Annie, has just been incredible. You know, we thought that if we could raise about £100,000 on the back of the... Because bear in mind, we just had the desert challenge that Scott did and, and everybody. We thought if we could raise a fraction of that, we would be delighted. And it's just gone nuts. It is. It is. Well, I, I on behalf of you guys, say thank you very much. Yeah. To everybody who's actually helped us out. It's been incredible. Really has been absolutely incredible. Right, uh, this is the longest ever show on BBC Radio 1. Annie Nightingale is with us. Chris is currently having a little breather and a little break, and he'll be back very shortly as we continue. I'm not afraid. It's been a ride. m and on BBC Radio 1, the longest show ever with Chris Moores and myself, Comedy Dave, and Annie Nightingale, who Ooh. is... Who, well, we're basically... We're, we're on your show now, Annie. We're, we're guesting with you. But uh, the whole point of this is to ri- try and raise a huge amount of money for Comet Relief. Uh, if you'd like to be one of those people that is helping to uh, this enormous total so far, all you need to do is text the word CHRIS to 70011. CHRIS to 70011. Texting the word CHRIS will help you... Uh, Contribute one pound to transform the lives of poor and vulnerable people all over the UK and across Africa. Text costs one pound plus your standard network message charge and the whole pound goes to Comet Relief. You must be over 16 and always ask the bill payers permission, full terms and conditions and to donate online. Visit bbc.co.uk forward slash slash radio one voice is going again Ah, uh, no you'll it. be all right you keep you, you you'll be fine you'll be fine right I've got some I'm loving hearing from everybody here's my saying Annie I love breaks I'm loving Chris and Dave's effort 50 hour session average Martin girl fans weekends <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, yeah hopefully yeah. hopefully Chris and Dave you guys are keeping me awake need to be up at 5 30 just this finish a mess dinner at RME Sandhurst. Oh, this very is part. from Prince William or something. By the way, yes. Who do you think is going to get the gig for the royal wedding? Well, I would imagine that you've put in for it. We've put in for it as well. I think it'd be Pete Tong. Do you think? Well, because at Radio One Big Weekend last last year, which yeah. Prince uh, William and Kate Middleton yeah. came to, and he was saying, "Oh, yeah, we like, like Tongy." <laughs> Calls him Tongy. You know, very friendly terminology. But everyone's thrown their hat in yeah, for but that, that gig, so surely. I bet you Pete Tong gets the gig. Have you heard... So we, what? Have you heard, by the way, about the, the royal wedding cock-up? No. Somebody showed me this, this week. This is brilliant. You know you get all the merchandise surrounding the royal wedding mm. and you get all sorts of... You get cups and teapots and whatever. Somebody showed me a cup that they had made up this week. It's got the wrong prints on there. Oh, what? Who? What? <laughs> there were these cups that were made, these souvenir ones, with Kate Middleton.